uh, that's what we celebrating today. Mm. From my experience, most Christians have no idea what this day is really all about. But I do. And I got them dummies believing that it's all about Easter clothes and bunny rabbits, egg hunts and candy baskets. <laughs> oh, and we cannot forget that artery clog and ham that slow bacon in the oven as we speak. <laughs> it is hilarious to me because they don't even know all that suffering that G <clears throat> that he did because he loved them. Anyway, it don't make no difference because most of his so-called family are broke, busted, and disgusted. No peace, no joy, all because they don't believe that they can, no, that they should be walking in his victory every single day of their stupid little lives. <laughs> Hey, it ain't my fault they don't believe the b <clears throat> that book. So hey, I just keep running things, you know what I mean? <laughs> it works out perfectly for me. Oh, uh, y'all look like y'all need an example up in here. Cool. Let's just check in on one of my favorite little Christian families, shall we? Today's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be great. <coughs> great. <coughs> oh Lord, have mercy. This cough, it's gonna be the death of me. Mama, what did I tell you about all that death talk in my house? Oh, lighten up, son. I'm just playing. Now, you know what? If I know you were gonna do all the Easter cooking today, I'd got in that kitchen myself. Mama, I don't mind. It's fine. Mama, I don't mind. Well, you should mind. Lord have mercy, that's the problem right there. That uh, trifling. trifling wife of yours ain't done nothing all day but lay her lazy behind in the bed watching housewives and he ain't the baby daddy all day. Why you been working all day? Okay, mama, can you please not go in on Annie today? I'm just saying, you gotta buy the cow, kill the cow, and cook the cow, shoot. You can do bad all by yourself. You know what, you can do bad all by yourself. What in the world you need her for? Annie, Trevor, come on down. Dinner's ready. I'll be right there. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Be the first one down here to eat, but the last one to get in that kitchen and stir up. Mama, the please. Oh. Can you? Just for today. Oh, hey. You did all this? Yeah, hey. Oh, I was going to cook today, but what time you get home from work? Uh, you know, a couple hours ago. Oh. Um, Went upstairs, I saw you were sleeping, so I decided to let you get some beauty rest. Uh, Trevor, come on, boy, we're waiting on you. Oh, I know, I have the worst headache ever. Oh, oh. oh. I only planned on laying down for a few minutes, but I guess I really needed the rest. Mm. Thank you, babe, for letting me sleep. You're just so good to me. Well, you know, anything from my natural hair boo <laughs> bed. <laughs> he running again. Run, stop that running! Sorry, Dad, I didn't hear you the first time. Okay, you know, it's fine. So listen, family, um, I wanted to uh, take some time today um, to prepare a nice meal so we can have a nice, relaxing meal as a family before we head over to the resurrection service. Uh, so. And you know better than that. I ain't going up in nobody's church. Uh, babe, so, you know, I was <laughs> hoping that you wouldn't drink today. <laughs> Uh, well, you a little late with that request, cause uh, this is my second bottle. <laughs> and besides, Jesus turned water into wine, surely he don't mind me having, ooh, a glass of four. Lord, oh. keep me near the cross. Okay, uh, you know, how about, how about we just pray, all right? Uh, Father- Oh, wait a minute, son, you pray too long. Food we got cold by the time you finish, I pray. Lord, bless this food, amen. Let's eat. Amen. <laughs> so, Trevor, um, you know, uh, I haven't got a chance to connect with you lately. You know, uh, I've been working a lot of overtime. How's school been? Oh, uh, yeah, Trev. Why don't you tell your dad how school's going? Everything's fine. 
Before I stop lying. All right. Uh, what's going on? Your son brought a card full of Fs in here last week. That's what's going what? on. What? Fs? Seriously? Trevor, you've always had excellent grades. I mean, what's changed? I hate school, duh. I hate school. <laughs> Since when do you hate school, Trevor? Since you put me in that school, Dad. I don't fit in there. I have no friends. I'm all alone. All right, son, look. We, we've talked about this before, all right? You're never alone. Now look, I know putting you in that private school was an adjustment, but I want you to have the best education possible. Wait a minute, nah, 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 nah. They, they messing with you at that school, um, what's that called, uh? Bullying. Uh, yeah, bullying. Cause you know, grandma will come up there and I'll set it off up in there. Mama, you can't. Uh, Don't nobody mess with my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather die than go back to that school. Uh, I'd rather die than go back to that school. What? Dad, please don't make me go back there. Please, uh, please. Stop your whining. Uh, now, your dad, he is paying a lot of money for you to go to that school and you going. So just get it together and stop embarrassing this family. I was talking to Dad. Dad, please, please don't make me Excuse go back there. Excuse me? Please. Son. What? Well, I'm talking to you. And don't you dare raise your voice in this house. I'm the only one that can raise their voice up in this house. This is my house. Ma, okay. just leave me alone. What? Wait, hold on, that's not where I've been now. You know what I will tell you? Grammy, mind your business, okay? That's my child, okay? That's my child, and I can nudge him from here to the moon about both of you. Can't nobody do that about you. Jesus, it's all about you. Tell them what you want. Hold on, 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 have a nice, peaceful meal before we head to church. And we can't even do that. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> can't do this anymore. The perfect storm, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> See, I've been working on this one for a long time. And I have to admit, it was not easy. Because this one here, he the real deal. But I knew that if I could just get the foundation off track, I could have the whole family. <laughs> oh, look at it. I'm so tired. Working all them hours trying to make ends meet. He can't hardly think straight. You see, it's something about fatigue makes you vulnerable. You know what I mean? See, I got this little hottie down at his job and oh, she- Father, just... help me. Jesus, 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 Jesus. She's like, I can't do this anymore. You never could, Major. That's why I did it for you, because I love you. What do, you, what do you mean I never could? I mean, that's my family. It's, my family's my job, my responsibility. Your job is to believe in me and put all your faith in me and what I did for you on that cross. I bore all your burdens and care, so you don't have to. Your responsibility is to walk in the victory I won for you when I rose. But how do I do Cast that? your cares on me. Focus on my love for you and lead your family by example into a personal relationship with me. I've handled the rest for you, son. You are mine. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcome. My dear, why are you using the tongue I gave you to hurt yourself? What do you mean, Lord? Every time you speak something negative over yourself, like this cough gonna be the death of me, or say something I didn't say, you give it power. 
you give it life. And you reject the victory I won for you during my passion on the cross. I took those stripes and healed you from every disease. You know, Lord, I, 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 I don't understand. You know, I don't know what I was thinking, It's Lord. okay, my dear. Just believe the truth, speak the truth, and you'll see the truth manifest. Trevor, I have a plan for you. You do? Yes. And trust me, it's a good one. I need you to take my courage and believe that I'm always with you. Son, it's absolutely impossible for you to be alone, ever. I defeated every enemy of God and man when I went to the cross, including fear. So don't fear anything. You must know me for yourself. I love you, buddy. Remember that, okay? Okay. in my love after you lost the girls and Trevor survived. But despite what many told you, I didn't kill your babies. I'm life. I give abundant life. I carried your pain and sorrow on the cross and left it there. Turn back to me, Annie. I've already healed your broken heart. I am your comfort. Family, remember the cross. Family, let's remember the cross. Remember the victory. It was all for you because you're loved. Remember when he died for us. He did it because he loves us. Remember and live. Come on, let's, let's remember and let's live. coming with me. Oh, my Lord. I, me, I'm definitely going. I can hardly wait. Well, come on, <laughs> yes, Mama. Go. Me too, Daddy. Okay, son. <laughs> okay. <sighs> wait, wait. Me too. I'm going to. Oh my God. I love you.
give them a hand. Thank you. I, I just feel like I need to call. I need to, I need to make, I need to make a call. It might be somebody here right now. And uh, I just feel that, that what was done in that skit right there spoke to somebody's heart. And that um, I'm just here to tell you the way I got here is that I was trying to do it myself. It was never meant that you live on this earth apart from God. And I was trying everything. I did all kinds of things and making all kinds of mistakes. And then pretty soon, one time when I got to the lowest part, I just called out and said, Lord, would you please help me? And that's when I'd come in from a late party one night in the apartment by myself, tears running down my eyes because I couldn't find any answers. And I was trying to figure out what is it that I need to do? And so I'd gone to different relationships. I bought new Corvettes. I've gone on little trips. I've done all kinds of things, but nothing seems to satisfy. And it's amazing what God has made us. He made something inside of us that only he can fill. And so what happened in that is when I called out to God, I said, Lord, would you please help me? And I didn't know all of what I was saying, but about three or four days later, he sent somebody by the place at work and, and they came and asked me, said, hey, uh, would you like to go with me tonight? Well, I was single. She was single. She looked pretty good. I said, yeah. I didn't have anything to do, so I did. And once I did, it seems that we drove up north side of Chicago, went into a place, and people were holding their hands up, praising God. Now, I didn't know all that was in store for me. I just thought I was just going to another place. And when I came and went into that place, the guy saw me and came and hugged me. I guess he knew her. And he said, God loves you, brother. And somehow that just touched my heart. Hallelujah. And when it touched my heart, I said, uh, he talked to me about the Lord. And I gave my heart to the Lord. Now, I understand I'd been in church, but church was never in me. I was a little boy, been in BTU, all the good things that you do, but I was never changed. And I don't know about you, you might have been there and you were never changed. But this particular play here spoke to your heart. And I'm telling you, it was put on by God because God wanted to speak to your heart. And what I want to do for this moment, now I'm going to teach the word, but something's telling me to stop right now as the music plays. Something tells me to stop right now. And it's telling me to ask you, have you made a decision for Jesus? Now, I'm not sure where you've been, what time you've been visiting churches, whatever have you, but I do know this, that you came here by the direction of the Lord. Amen. And it's no coincidence that you stumble in this house, Amen. that God brought you here. And what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ. Once I did that in my life, everything was going wrong. My job performance at IBM was going wrong. The doctor said I had something that I was just gonna have to live with, so forth and so on. That night, when I received Christ and I went back, the man of God laid hands up, the power of God hit my life and everything changed. I went to the top of the ladder in sales in IBM, body got totally healed, um, everything, finances came together, everything happened. So many times we're trying to do it ourselves, but we can't do it. We need him to help us do it. The Bible says, by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God. It's not of works, that's anybody would boast. It said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Now I'm praying for you right now, 
and I want to do something. I want to have an opportunity to pray the same prayer over you that they prayed over me that night that changed my life forever. So if you're here, I'm not asking you to join this church. You can do that today if you want. I'm asking you this day to receive Jesus Christ, to go back home and have a whole different outlook. I'm talking about have a brand new start. I'm talking about the miracles of God. If you've been incarcerated, he can expunge your record. He can, if you've been sick, he can heal you. I'm talking about HIV. He can take you, whatever you've got, Jesus can get rid of it. So if you're here right now and God has spoken to your heart, before I get into the word, I'm led right now to call you. Let me pray the prayer of, with you, the prayer of faith, and you come into the kingdom and watch the turnaround God does in your life. So whoever that is right here, right now, I want to pray for you right now. Come on, don't deny it. Get up out of your chair. Take a step of faith for me and come on up here and join me at the altar. I'm talking about whoever that is right now. I want to call you right now. Come on, just like you are. Come on, sister, just like you are. That's right. Come on down, just like you are, just like you are. Come on, fight it. Don't, if, the, if something's telling you, don't come. Don't let the devil tell you that. Don't let him whisper in your ear. You come just like you are. You line up right here. You watch and see what God's about to do with your life. Come on, come on. You've been hurt in your life. You've been put out in your life. You've been talked about. You've been kept down. You've been, you've been beat up. Somebody been abused. Come on, I'm talking about you need a healer. I'm talking about you need a savior. You need a deliverer. You need peace. Come on, you need some joy for once. You've been broke long enough. God's saying, come in. I'll take it out. I'll turn it all around. Why? Because this is your day for deliverance. This is Resurrection Sunday. This It's a time God sent you here. He sent you here for such a time as this right here. I'm saying whatever the devil has stolen from you, God's going to get it back. This is your day. This is your season. I don't want you to miss it. I said I don't want you to miss it. Come on. Somebody is still sitting there. Get up out of that chair and come and let God be your Lord. Let Jesus be Lord of your life. I'm telling you, it's nothing that he can't turn around. Come on. Come on, whoever it is. Come on, give them a hand clap, y'all. Give them a hand clap because they're coming. You come on down here. You come on down here. That's what it's all about. It's all about surrender. It's all about giving your life so that he can turn it around. Come on, he died on the cross for you. You come just like you are. Come on, come on, give your life. I know you've been religious, but you haven't been right. You haven't received Jesus in your heart. This is your day. This is your day for deliverance. Come on, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Come on, there's a place for you. Don't miss your place. Don't let somebody else take your place.